Good morning. Our goal today is to investigate the physics of a Star Wars blaster shot. So there was the blaster shot, and specifically we'll be looking at the speed of a blaster shot in Star Wars. We will assume constant speed, and this is reasonable because bullets travel for the most part at constant speed when they're initially fired. And as a result, we're able to use the formula speed equals distance over time. So from the video today, our goal is to try to determine the distance and the the time. So what I've done here is removed or extracted two images from the video. And I'm going to mark off the front of the blaster shot in one image and the front of the blaster shot in the other image. Our goal is to get that distance. If we could somehow get that distance, well, then we're halfway there. Well, that distance is 7.1 centimeters. However, we need a scale. And looking at this picture, it doesn't look like there's really anything we can use for a scale. But I've decided to use the diameter of R2-D2's head. So in this image, it's 1.7 centimeters. But in real life, how large is R2-D2's head? I thought this was going to be a simple Google question, but it wasn't. It was anything but simple. And so instead, we will try to determine the diameter of R2-D2's head based on his known height, because the information related to R2-D2's head size is not really available on the internet. And so his height in this picture is 10.3 centimeters. And we know that in real life, his height is around 1.09 meters. Some sites list him as 1.1 meters, others as 1.09 meters, but we're pretty close to the actual answer here. Now drawing another line to represent the diameter of R2-D2's head, that's 4.5 centimeters. And the diameter of his head is 0 0.48 meters. Now, does that make sense just looking at this picture? It does. If his height is 1.09 meters, we know that his head diameter cannot be larger than 1.09. In fact, if you just look at the picture, it looks to be about at least half the size of the height. So 0 0.48 meters makes sense. So now we take that 0 0.48 meters, that's the diameter of R2-D2's head, and we multiply it by 7.1 centimeters divided by 1.7 centimeters, and that should give us the distance. So, based on everything we just did, the distance of the blaster shot from this point to that point is around 2 meters. That's the distance that the blaster shot has moved. And so we have the distance. Now we need to get the time. Well, this video was captured at 30 frames per second. Therefore, the time is 1 30th of a second, or 0 0.0333 seconds, as I chose the two frames to be one after the other. Well, we divide by our time, and our answer is 60 meters per second. So how does that compare to the speed of a bullet? Well, the speed of the bullet typically is 10 to 15 times greater than that. So the speed of a blaster shot is very slow in comparison to the speed of a bullet in real life. Hope you got something out of this analysis today. And I hope it encourages you to do your own video analysis of movie clips or video games. Have a great day.